Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here with TGN, and welcome to some more Space Engineers coverage. Yeah, can you tell what's behind me? <laughs> this thing is so cool. Alright, that's right. I did a StarCraft video a while back, and I said, you know what? Why not do something based on pretty much what StarCraft is based on? Aliens. This is the Aliens dropship from Aliens 2. Or, Aliens. <laughs> So let's throw on the thrusters here and give you give you a look at it. Now I actually haven't played with this one yet. This is a uh, a live first look at this sucker, but it's got the rocket pods. It's pretty well done. I mean, it looks good. It definitely looks good. It's got the big spotlights, lots of rockets, lots of thrusters. I mean, it looks like she should be ready to go. The one thing that I did notice though, there's no entrance to the back bay. This is one of those things I think the devs really need to add. They need to add these big docking bay doors. They should be able to open up. But it's a it's considered a fighter class. That means to fly it, you have to get into the cockpit, which is completely acceptable in my opinion. And oh, wow. Okay, so if you look at the right-hand side, you notice there's a lot of red. There's no power. Actually, there's gyroscopes, there's thrusters, there's everything but reactors. So we're gonna have to pop out and actually fix this baby up. She's missing parts. That's no bueno. All right, let's see what we can do. Kill those thrusters. And maybe, maybe there's like a compartment back here. Let's find out. There doesn't seem to be a compartment back here. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that a reactor in there? Now I'm freaking confused. All right, let's open up some more. Get a look at what's going on. Oh, that's a big gyroscope. Clear that out. Go to first person, turn on the jetpack. So, yeah. So what's going on here? Those should be everything we need. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that and let's place down some stuff. Some large reactors. Get these bad boys going. See if we can get some power to this place. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Power's online. All right. Patch it up a little bit. Can't have our, our reactors just hanging out in the open. Not quite sure why that didn't work the first time. All sealed up. Not really. There we go. But yeah, I would really love to see docking bays. I mean, this is a transport. This is a troop transport. This big door should be able to open up, or maybe a ramp should come down. Um, things that I would like to see. Definitely would like to see. So, let's do this. Let's take her for a joyride. All right. Pre-flight check. Looks good. Throw her into third person. Push all the buttons, trying to turn the landing gear off, which does not want to work. Did I change my controls? I don't believe it did. Should be subsystem one. Landing gear is P. Oh, I guess I did change them. Okay. All right, changed them back. So, landing gear is disengaged. Thrusters are live, and we are off the ground. Oh, yeah. We are five by five. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to fly the aliens dropship, you got to do all the horrible, horrible quotes that are in that movie. We're in for some chop. Yeah, watch, play a little StarCraft 1, and then watch, watch Aliens. And you will see so many lines ripped out of that movie, it's not even funny. She actually flies pretty good. For being a transport. You know, big fat transport. How, how much does she weigh? All right, so 437,000 kilograms. Not bad. You know, I still find it easier to fly with the control or the keyboard. I wonder how this baby runs on a controller like an Xbox gamepad. we have got a couple of those sitting around. I have to try that one of these days. See, I'm still curious how fuel is going to work in this. Because if you look in the bottom right, fuel is listed. Are we going to have to mine fuel from these asteroids? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Alright, no worries. Totally meant to do that. Let's go. Cool. Are we going to have to mine fuel from asteroids? Is there going to be a whole refinery system? I mean, there is a refinery unit in the game already. 
But I think it's more for rocks, is what they're thinking. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to work out. And will the world be procedurally generated? Because that's something they haven't really talked about. At least nothing that I've seen. So, if you guys know anything about that, please let me know in the comments below. If you see any cool builds, let me know. All right, as always, this is Space Engineers. There's one thing you've got to do in Space Engineers, and that's ram stuff into other stuff. I'm sorry, Red Ship. It's been real. It's been fun. Hasn't been real fun. Bye! Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Oh, man, I think we did more damage to the large ship than we did to ourselves. This thing's built like a brick house. Hell yeah. Not bad. Let's, um, let's rotate her. Get out and survey the damage, shall we? If we can rotate her. There she goes. All right, pop on out. What do we got? Yeah, I mean, we hit it hard, and I don't see any damage to this thing. That I think that's the first time. The first time I've rammed a fighter-class ship, and, you know, one, didn't go flying out of the cockpit, and two, did more damage to the capital ship with giant armor than, uh, than the actual fighter itself. So, I wonder what's going on there. Hmm. Oh, look, we made a door. They've been doing really well with the updates, though. I love the new landing gear. Actually being able to attach to stuff adds so much more to the gameplay. This even has landing struts, so he's done a little work on it. Fantastic. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe here to TGN for more Aliens gaming awesomeness, except for that Aliens cloning Marines that game sucked. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. hoo I'm all break stuff. I'm gonna break that. And then it floats off into space. Space, space, space.